Guys, for $63, the Quick Run brush system right here. This has got a 1080G2 ESC and an 11 turn 5 slot crawler motor. This is what's going into the TRX4 2021 Bronco. Let's get to the table. Okay, let's get into this 1080G2. It's got a few special features on it. I'll get into all that in just a second. There's the 555 size motor, um, 11 turn, 5 slot. So that should be pretty good. It has an 11 tooth pinion gear. And this is a full featured truck. So Bauhaus uh, LCG battery tray right there. And a few other little odds and ends. But this right here is what we're all about. These are the auxiliary wires right here. One of them will allow you to adjust a drag brake while you're driving. So if your radio has that has an extra channel, you can totally do that. And the other one is a real car mode. I've tried the real car mode in the past. I didn't really care for it all that much. But um, the features are there. This still has the stock Traxxas transmitter, so I can't exactly make use of those features right now, but it's all in there. Since I mentioned them earlier, these are the J Concepts Landmines 4.19, and these are Power Hobby Beadlock wheels. Actually, a nice wheel that actually matches really nice with it. The black wheel with all the nice shiny bolts, I'm good with that. With the motor being an 11 turn, it should move pretty darn good. I'm expecting this thing to jump. Okay, let's get this thing started off in, I don't know why, but these look smaller for some reason. The tires look small, but oh well, here we go. There's your speed, second gear, moves right along. Now let's cut this down to the first gear. There's your first gear. Yeah, you know, it's been a long time since I've driven a Traxxas crawler. <laughs> all right let's move our way on it right on out oh wait a minute hold up a second <laughs> oh yeah now this truck pretty much has been a shelf queen for me and i'm going to continue with it being a shelf queen i have never rolled this thing on the rocks i think i rolled it one time on the grass so yeah these tires they do look really too small maybe i need to get like a set of uh I don't know, 4.3 tires or something. I don't really want the 475s on it. Now, I haven't locked the disc right now, so I want to see how it takes care of the business here. Now, as far as the crawl control, it feels absolutely wonderful because this is about the motor and ESC. Uh, it actually feels really good. It almost feels like it got a little bit of FOC on it. Torque feels really good on the motor. Oh, here's a spot. I gotta be careful. If not, I'll roll it. Okay, discs are now locked. Nice, easy. Make the pull. Yeah, I think I'm gonna find some of those uh, shorter 4.3 tires and put those on here. I like these wheels though. They actually blend, work really nice with the body and all that. Yeah, nice pull right here. Oh, I hit that shift button. I certainly don't want to be in second gear up through here. Wow, the crawlability of this system is really nice. I mean, really good. I'm really impressed with the crawlability of this system. It, the power transfer feels smooth. The motor feels like it's got plenty of torque to get everything done. Oh. All right, if I can get this ahead to go. There we go. Nice. That feels really good. Traxxas makes a good truck too. As much as I want to see a whole new drive line for the TRX 4M, every, every time I drive one, it's like, geez, this thing drives good. So it's kind of one of them things where you just kind of want to argue and gripe just to gripe, you know? Uh, here we go. Selectable discs, all that stuff. It's kind of when you just want to cry and complain because you got nothing better to do. So you're crying and complaining about things you shouldn't be crying and complaining about here. 
Nice pull up that. Yeah, look at that. Dude, this system's driving great. I think I should try to do some crawling in second gear, which is not something you're supposed to do. I actually did a whole video, stop killing your motors. And the biggest thing is make sure it's geared correctly, especially in TRX fours, you always put it into first gear. Now with these smaller tires, you have a little bit of a, an advantage over the larger tires as far as gearing goes. Now the drag brake, with the gearing being a lot higher, is very less effective. So it's not as effective as it would be normally. Wow, it pulls great even with the higher gear. You know? Wow. Impressive. Now speaking of first gear versus second gear on the drag brake, this is first gear. Now with the brush motor, all the brake is, is just basically connecting your motor wires together. Basically creating a controlled short between the two leads. So that's first gear. Here's second gear. And this is all because of gearing. Now, some of the real crazy systems actually can sense the motor turning on its own and can provide a reverse voltage to actually hold it. But that's kind of a rear system. But the only way to make it hold like this is to give a little bit of throttle and you're sitting there. However, if you do this for too long, you, you can burn a winding up on the motor. So you kind of got to be careful of that. Let's bring it right up through here. Oh, I'm all in my bumper. If I can get a better angle. I'm not going to get a better angle, Emma. There we go. Where are we at here? Let's take a look. There we go. All right, get that front to pull up, which we just got. Now, one of the things about brush motors and killing them is when you stall them, don't keep driving when the thing is stalled. You'll, the brush motors, they aren't as durable as brushless. So uh, brushless motor, not only are they typically more powerful, they're more durable, typically. Now, there are exceptions to the rules, as with anything. But for the most part, brushless systems are way more durable. Look at that. Oh, I'm telling you, this system drives great. Not taking anything away from the motor, but the 1080 ESC is probably the shining star of this combo. Uh, the motor's doing an absolute fabulous job but the motor can only do what the ESC tells it to do. Oh, did you see that? The skid actually got the front end over that. That was nice. Honestly, rather than dragging this video on, I think we've seen everything we need to see. Well, hold on, we need to see some power. Oh yeah, let me lock the disc. Oh! Oh yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good. So for $63, this system is awesome. Especially if you gotta stay brushed. Because there are some guys that just don't want to do brushless. Are you one of them? Me? I'm fine with brushless. And the fusions work great. But if you want to stay brushed, this is the way to go. 2S, 3S, dude, the system drove fantastic. It drove almost like it had an FOC, like a much higher price brushless. It really drove good. Really happy with the system. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll link it up down below, so make sure you use those links. They are affiliate links. Hey, man, you be Amazon Horizon. 
helps out the channel when you guys use them. So uh, yeah, guys, nice system. But I do got to get larger tires. And like I say, 4.3, 4.5 maybe. I don't want a full 4.75 on it, but that's for later. Guys, have a great day. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video it means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.